Hi, welcome to Sexy is Timeless Talk. This month, we are focusing in our body. We are trying to look those extra pounds from the holidays plus COVID-19. I am Luisa Diaz, author of Sexy is Timeless. I'm founder of Luisa Diaz Foundation, which is a celebration of kindness. Now, let me introduce to you my fabulous friends and co-hosts. Hello everyone, I'm Samantha Basito Drucker, your lifestyle genie, author of 90 Days to Husband Number Two and host of Love and Design Project, coming you to you today from beautiful Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. Hey everyone, I'm Delana Dixon, Editor-in-Chief of DivaGalsDaily.com, and I'm coming to you from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hi ladies. How are you? Our special guest today is Jeff Worley of 50 Grand Health and Fitness. So, Hello, everyone. Thank you, Jeff, for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, the new year is off to a good start. And so what are you coming I'm from? I'm thankful. <laughs> what are you? Are you in New York? I am coming I am in from New, New York. I'm, I'm, I'm in New Jersey, but I'm pretty right, pretty much right on the border of New York. Okay, so we are getting here. As you know, it's very cold here in New York. So I'm coming from Manhattan, New York. Very, very cold. But, um, you know, we have so much to talk about it. So let's start. So, yes. um, Jeff, what motivated you to work with this um, a specific age group because uh, you were with 40, 50, 60, and you were sharing with us that your oldest client is 81 years old. That's amazing. I love it. It, it is. It is. Um, well, I feel like, one, it's never too late, but the reason why I focus on this particular demographic, and I'll just start by saying that I train all different ages, um, but I focus on uh, people who are approaching 50 and up. And the reason why is because our approach to fitness has to change. And the reason why I'm so passionate about it is because as I was approaching age 50, um, I was getting a little depressed. And even though I felt like I was in the best shape of my life, you know, you start to think about a lot of different things. And I decided that, you know what, what I like what I see, I like how I feel. So I want to actually do this for others. And I thought about getting certified to train other people years ago. And I, when I was turning 50, I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. And I want to make sure that the people that I train feel the way I feel. Wonderful. Well, you look great. Yeah, thank you so much. Myself. <laughs> I feel great. And, you know, that's even more important, right? Yes, yes. And, you know, I was watching you. I was uh, looking to your website. And I, I love this picture where you, all these seniors are in their chairs and they are lifting weights. That was so beautiful. It's just yeah, amazing. Yeah. That's our functionally fit program uh, that we do for seniors is classes that um, basically we put emphasis on the fun part, um, but it's functional fitness, which just basically gets them up and moving, working those muscles that they use to perform everyday tasks. And we put on some great music, we make them laugh, we make them work, and they leave there feeling great. Oh, that's amazing. And how do we start, you know, after 40, after 30, do we start losing all this muscle? How do we gain more muscle? Well, get our body there, there, there's a couple of components, right, to, to uh, maintaining your lean muscle or, or uh, building muscle mass. And of course, one is, you know, high protein diet and, and, and trying to, you know, curtail your carbohydrates, especially the, the simple carbs. Um, but then of course, then there are weight bearing exercises, which we do, um, with, um, as we approaching 50, we try to put more emphasis on, uh, weight bearing exercises. They can be body weight, but the important thing is doing stuff like push-ups, and, you know, building that upper body strength, uh, a very, uh, high focus and I should say concentration, uh, is on balance 
because building those muscles that we use for balance is very important too as you get older. Uh, as you know, many seniors, sometimes at some point you, you might take a fall, but you know, balance helps you to stay on your feet. And, and if you should lose your balance, being used to doing these certain exercises, you'll probably recover a lot quicker. Oh, that's wonderful. And you know, um, it's a new year, and a lot of people, their resolution is, I'm going to lose weight, and they go and join a gym and all this, and in a few weeks, they get disappointed. They don't want to do it anymore. So how do you keep <laughs> you motivated? Yeah, uh, my clients, a lot of my clients, they, 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 this is a source of frustration for them because they feel like, you know, the gyms and everything gets so crowded in the beginning of the year and, and a lot of people by a certain uh, point uh, will drop out. And th the reason for that, I think, is because we all approach the new year with hopes, you know, and when we think about an, another year gone by, we start to think about things like mortality, right? And that makes us want to focus on some fundamental things. And one of those things are health. So that's the first thing we think of is I want to do something healthy, you know, and do better, you know, and it's fine. But I like to say that if you really, really want to stick it out and you really want to make something happen, don't say I want to do it or I need to do it. You know, I mean, that's fine. That's the, de that's the declaration, right? Um, that's the revelation, I'm sorry. But when you say I'm going to do it, that's more of a declaration. And now you got to put your money where your mouth is. And if you say I'm going to get fit this year, I think you have a better chance of actually doing it because you just made a declaration. And yes, just go and do it like Nike, right? Right, that's right. <laughs> exactly. So, Nina, Dali, I know you have some great questions. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeff, first of all, you and I have had the pleasure of working out together. I know how dedicated you are to fitness, as am I. So it's 2021. What are some of the great programs and moves and workouts that people should be looking into to do this year? Well, I tell you, um, HIT workouts for the past couple of years, and if you're not familiar with HIT, you know, those who aren't familiar with HIT, um, that's H-I-I-T, right? Hi into, I'm sorry, um, high intensity interval training. Mm -hmm. So those are uh, exercises where we're doing exercises in a circuit, you know, for a certain number of seconds, and then we rest for a couple of seconds, let the heart rate come down, and then we go at it again, and we just keep doing that. That strengthens the heart. It can be fun, and they're very effective. And places that. like Orange Theory, which I'm sure you guys have heard it, have, have uh, done very well. Um, my client, most of my clients, believe it or not, even those who are above 60, they do enjoy the high interval, uh, the high intensity interval training uh, workouts because it's, it challenges them and it keeps it moving. I think most people stop because they get bored. And with those, you don't get bored. I love high intensity workouts. I really <laughs> love it. When I'm working out, I want really, Hard workout, hardcore workout. Right. I love it. So go it, ahead. It, you don't sweat. You don't feel like you did anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, obviously people are turning 40s. Maybe they just turned 50. Um, and you spoke about, obviously, we want to work on our balance so we don't fall over. But what are some other things we need to concentrate on, like building muscle or some of the things you have to worry about when you're yeah. looking? Trying to reverse that muscle and bone loss, right? Like I said, with um, some weight bearing exercises. Um, and when we say weight, we don't, like I said, it can be body weight or you can be uh, using light dumbbells and stuff like that. We don't, uh, I definitely, uh, myself, I've, I've changed the way I work out. I don't do heavy, heavy weight anymore. Um, I used to, but I realized that I can no longer do that kind of stuff. And the question is not, could I, but should I? And most, in most cases I shouldn't because, you know, at this age, uh, an injury uh, probably won't heal as fast. So yes, weight bearing exercises to answer your question, fle uh, flexibility. That's the other thing aside from the mm -hmm. balance exercises, we should definitely be uh, working on flexibility because you know, we do get stiff. There are things like uh, osteo, uh, excuse me, osteo, uh, how do you say, osteoarthritis. Thank you. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, things like that, they tend to creep up on us as we get older. Many people have it. And uh, flexibility, exercises, yoga, um, tai chi, these things, they, they all go a long way toward at least slowing down that process. Yeah, so, the same for Ever 27. Yeah, right? Speaking <laughs> of like flexibility. Right, um, right. So, so my husband and I have this fabulous little convertible and it's low to the ground and I have um, some injuries and arthritis in my hip from being a dancer in another chapter of my life and being right. a runner after that. So I, I, I can't even believe I'm admitting this in public, but I have arthritis in my hip. I have no connective tissue. Um, and, but I don't believe in changing the hip because I believe that I can strengthen the muscles. You know, I couldn't walk a few years ago because of the right kind of strength training, I can walk. And my girlfriends here, they remember when I couldn't walk, now I can walk. However, getting out of that convertible <laughs> is a little more challenging than it used to be. And it's getting really harder and harder to make my getting out of that convertible look graceful. So with that, I wanted to ask you, um, what are some of the moves that get um, more challenging as we age? Well, um, I would say anything that requires our lower back and knees, they become more challenging and it's just gonna happen. We have to accept that, that we at some point uh, are going to probably suffer from one or both of those things, knee issues or lower back issues. 80% uh, of the population suffer with some sort of low back problem. Um, I'm not exempt. I have that as well. Another reason why I can't do the heavy deadlifts that I used to do, <laughs> you know, things like that. And we have to just accept certain limitations and try to work within them or work on them but you really can't stop that this aging process we just have to learn to try and slow it down and know our limitations amen <laughs> we're gonna try that we we meant that. That. Yeah. <laughs> is it ever too late i mean i know we could just freeze ourselves and be young kept forever but you know apart from freezing ourselves you know i know we have to like work at it is it ever too late to start a life of fitness no i i think the, <laughs> same, the simple answer is no I, I don't think so i mean if <laughs> because fitness right we think of fitness as being a lot of people think of fitness as being this thing that we have to do in a gym or you know we have to get out the mats and the weights and stuff but i think that really fitness is just simple things i mean going for walks and if you can and, and even if you have trouble walking you know you can move in your chair you know um i have family members who are are who have health issues and i just i give them workouts that they can do even if they're sitting and watching tv so it's never too late and the the seniors in my functionally fit class will tell you that okay so Jeff, um, ladies, let's speak first to ladies. Um, what are some of your favorite go workout, you know, when we don't have too much time to work out? Elena? Well, I actually brought you a prop. <laughs> so these are gliders. And what you can do is that you can place them there's two sides. One side you can put on a carpet, one side you can put on a hardwood floor, and you can actually push them out. Instead of lifting your foot off the floor, you can push out. And it is the hardest core workout because to stop it without you sliding, you have to use your core. This isn't necessarily for the beginner workout. This is more of an intermediate advanced workout. But if you, these are $10, uh, you know, at the store or online. You get this, you go to YouTube, find your favorite program, and you will feel so different. Yeah. I and love core, it. I, I didn't mention that before, but core is key. Um, you know, and, and, and that's at any age, but as we get older, you, you definitely got to work on your core because that's, that's what helps you keep your balance. You're right. It's, that's the center of your entire being. So, uh, you know, you have to have a strong core. 
Excellent. Right. Jeff, what would that one minute workout that you have? Right? They're all basics. You don't need any weight. Uh, push ups. Then I would get up, do some squats. Then I get back down. I do some sit ups for my core. And then I, finally, I come up and I do some jumping jacks for my for my cardio. And believe it or not, those four exercises are everything you need. Because yeah. push-ups, you get, and I don't think there's a, even if you have to do the modified push-ups on your knees, there is not another exercise that you'll get more bang for your buck. And we all need to work on our upper body, right? We all, we all could use upper body strength. But what you get with push-ups, you're getting your shoulders worked out, you're getting your pectoral or your chest muscles, you're getting your triceps. I mean, and then of course, then there's the core. Because what is a push-up, but it starts off as a plank, right? The push-up is a moving uh, plank. So you hold yourself up, then you lower yourself down, keeping your core tight the entire time, if you're doing it correctly. So, so push-up, and then how many push-ups? I would say start start at you know whatever you can do five to ten then just work your way up. We are talking about one, one minute, so we yeah. don't want yeah. to we're talking about doing this entire hour. workout in one minute. You could probably do ten of each thing if you you know and and if you have more time, repeat it if you do them fast enough. Um, yeah. If you're a beginner, you're probably not going to rush it because I don't you know I don't um, recommend that people rush certain exercises especially yeah. the strength ones if, i mean jumping jacks that's cardio so if you want to do them yeah. fast that's fine yeah um, one of the things i do when i don't have too much time i like to do the jumping jacks. i yeah. like that and then oh, i great. do a little bit mm -hmm. so abs and then dance it's five minutes and it's like okay i'm done yeah and trying to <laughs> make myself believe that i did such a great workout but uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> my wife and my clients will tell you I don't start any workout without jumping jacks. We we, yeah, we always want those. Yes, as Samantha darling. When I travel, I like to keep it old school. The basic jumping jacks, sit ups, push ups, leg lifts, squats. The basic. I keep it old school. Right, and those yes. are all functional. Those are all the, those are all things you're going to use in everyday life. It's not just you know we don't just do them for fun. You, you're really getting a good workout and working those muscles that you need. Okay, wonderful. So um, thank you so much, Jeff. So what else, um, what should we know right now the start of the new, the new year? Uh, what advice would you give us to really stay with our routine and to really to make this year to take care of our body? Well, find some my advice to someone uh who especially just starting out is find something fun that you like to do that is that is uh you know any movement any kind of exercise program or activity that you like to do once you like it and you're passionate about it you're going to probably keep doing it and then when you get bored with that add on something else and just keep going the other thing is find Maybe try and find a partner. That always helps. My clients love when I work out with them. It, it challenges, them, challenges them more, and it even makes it a little bit more fun because they like to see me suffer a little bit too. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. yeah, so those are, those are my, my advice. And listen, we have a contest. If you go on 50grandfit.com, you will see we have a contest going currently where if you tell us your story, you can even go on Facebook as well um, and inbox us. You tell us what your fitness goal is and the story behind it. We, you could stand a chance to win three months of personal training, either virtual or in person if you're in the New York, New Jersey area. Um, Wonderful. Because we want people to tell us. Do we qualify? The girls see if we qualify? Yes, yes, anyone. Um, you just got to tell us what the story is. Um, and if it's something that we feel is motivational, we will work with you for three months at our expense. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. So ladies uh, who are watching us, you just here, you might be having uh, Jeff three months training you. So that go to the uh, 
Facebook, right? Facebook and website. You can go on Facebook or the website, correct. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Jeff. So now uh, we have a segment, and this segment okay. is about uh, featuring the sexy and timeless lady of the week. A new segment where we're asking our viewers to really uh, tell us what they think is sexy uh, and how they have felt sexy during the week. So maybe Delena, see it's in the Facebook uh, group, you can uh, read it from there. Yes, uh, so we have another person who's come into our Facebook group and is sharing it. This is Sue Jen Kim of Oakland, California. And she writes, I feel my sexiest after my Peloton workouts and a shower. How appropriate. Oh, wonderful. Yes. The fact that I've self-cared for myself puts me into a timeless, energetic mindset. And also, the feel of cashmere doesn't hurt my skin either. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it. You go, girl. <laughs> that is wonderful that you have found one, that you are a very tactile person. Exercise gets you going. Cashmere gets you going. I like the feel of leather, and I love being on the beach for the way the sand and the sun and the water feel on my skin. I agree well, with you. Yes, so uh, Jeff Dali, what is sexy to you? Hmm. I think sexy is an attitude. It's, it's, it's uh, something, in. it comes from inside, right? If you feel sexy and you love yourself, that flows outward. That's right. I believe that, that draws people in. So uh, that, that's what sexy is to me. That's right. And I talk about that in my book, Sexy is Timeless. So <laughs> for all the ladies who don't have a copy, so please get a copy in Amazon. Thank you so much. Um, remember that it's not a miracle pill. I wish uh, wait a second, Louisa, I have, to, I have to call you and Samantha out just for a second because I have to give them props. They come to our Tuesday and Thursday fitness class religiously where they are actually the youngest people in the group because everybody in our group is 60 plus and i just wanted to thank you guys for for you know doing your fitness on a regular basis and i just want to give a shout out to our, our tuesday and thursday ladies i love seeing you we love being together and jeff we're gonna yes. ask you to come in and do a special class for us one day very soon yes. i'll be happy yes. to <laughs> we would love that. And yes, I must say, even though we are the younger one in the class, I must tell you this lady kick us our asses. So <laughs> they they are the gold girl strong. I was like, oh indeed. But we had so much fun, so we would love to have you. Thank you, Delena. You are a great, great trainer. She always kick us our beautiful yes. bonbon. <laughs> We're very grateful to you. <laughs> so Last week, during past year, we could have been, it could have been bad. So, thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. So, ladies, remember, our audience, remember that it's not a miracle pill. I wish they were, but it's not, as we know, exercise and eating healthy. So, let's get a routine and please be kind to your body, yourself, and others. Yes.